for five years. The, the, the difference is obvious. Today, by God's grace, we have a harvest. The prices of food commodities has come down. Day before yesterday, Latif, there was a release of where we are with inflation. Inflation in Kenya is now 4.6%. When I came into office, it was 9%. Inflation coming from food products. It was reported not by me, by the institutions that are charged, 4.6%. We have, the, 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 where I have invested money, <coughs> I can account for it. Right. And it is making a difference right. in the lives Their of many. Their concern is yeah. on extravagance yes. in government. I, I, will come, I will come to opulence in on, on, on opulence and extravagance. Every trip I have made, I have not made any trip outside Kenya to go and do things that, have of, that are of no benefit to this nation. I can account for every trip that I have made outside our nation, whether it is on projects or programs or investments or even the profiling of this country to put it in, the, in good standing for us to attract investment. In fact, the Nairobi Stock Exchange, which was, which was almost closed, was rated the best in the world, not said by William Ruto, but it was in the public domain by Bloomberg. If you don't believe me, believe Bloomberg. Mr. President, yeah. so, so no, this I, have, I have done what I could for the country. You have but not let answered, me finish you have not opulence. Questions. Let me go to the opulence. And let me be very clear that uh, the display of, uh, you know, insensitivity is, is a statement that has come to me and is a sentiment that has, uh, has, has come to me. And you will see something very different going into the future. Whether it is coming from uh, my staff, whether it is coming from uh, this office. And I, and I know people have raised issues of CAS, for example. I deliberately, even after Parliament had approved the, the position of CAS, I have not appointed any CAS because I realized that we were in a situation that we could not. And no CAS will be appointed until we have an economy that can support more opportunities. I know citizens have said that there is no need for the office of the uh, first lady second or second lady. lady. Third lady. These are offices that were there. But because we have to live within our means, those offices from tomorrow, this new budget which is starting tomorrow, they will not be part of our equation. Because in the face of what has happened, we have to trim down every other area. And in fact, not just those, many other spaces are going to be trimmed down to reflect the new reality, especially after the finance bill was taken down uh, by myself when I said we, we take this down. We are going to cut our cloth. We are going to cut our, 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 our coat, our coat uh, the size of our cloth. We're going to uh, reduce uh, money going to counties. We're going to reduce money going to the judiciary. When I came into office, the judiciary was getting 18 billion. Today, they are getting 25 billion. But it was because I believed in the rule of law. I believed that we needed to do something about making sure that our judiciary has resources. Because Kenyans were telling me directly, justice delayed is justice denied. Will you I cut have the size hired of your government? the highest number of judges under my administration because I believe that Kenyans must deserve justice. Will you reduce the number of ministers, ministries, or state departments, or advisors? That is an area we are going to target and cut down because it is the reality we have to face. Mr. President, uh, 
when things like this happen elsewhere, this is a whole finance bill that's been taken down. Correct. You have people who have been advising you on financial matters. You have people who have been advising you on political matters, listening to the people. You have advisors who have talked down at Kenyans, who have called them spoiled kids, KFC, Java, and whatnot. And you have people